What is good friends, here with CL vs Shoka for ulti, winner's bracket, if you're wondering what happened to the other ulti series, they're all gonna be coming, just have a, just wait a bit, um, like one of the series from last run, Zutrest vs Ojama, I did not catch that live, I'm gonna upload the replays, but all the other series, um, gonna be coming live, pretty much, yeah, it's like I just missed a few turns of one of, some of the games, but yeah, looking at the teams, this looks like a team that, um, there's definitely Specs Coco in every tank rows, so I assume that's Azim of Kyurem, because um, there's since he specs Coco, he doesn't have the Z move on that, and the Lando should. Um, I don't think the Lando Z move on this team. But yeah, um, if I'm Shoka here, I go on a Toxapex because it covers Sludge Bomb and it covers Earthquake. Because Toxapex is really bulky, so you can still eat up Earthquake. You don't have to risk going to Mura Zapdos and get potentially getting poisoned, and you don't have to risk going Heater and getting blown away by an Earthquake. But yes, yeah, I might just play it safe and Sludge Bomb. Um, but yeah, Shoka's obviously gonna switch. It's not like Tangos can do anything back to Venusaur. Uh, the Mega Scissor, Blunder used this team to call for OT, but a different variant of it. It still had a Duggy on it with Arena Trap, but now Arena Trap is banned. So um, there's a heat turn, I think, over Duck Trio, if I recall correctly, and I don't know if there was a Tangos on the team. Yeah, I think he put heat, um, heat turn over Duggy. It's probably a Magma Trap turn, I don't know if it's Z move. And yeah, the Scissor was bulky on this team. I'm quite surprised why he went into Mew. He got poisoned, that definitely sucks. Uh, you can fire off a Wisp here. Um, I think there's a double Defog team with Defog Mew and Defog Zapdos. And the Scissors SD knock off Bullet Punch Roost, which is amazing because you can knock off Celestia's leftovers in this game and then weaken Celestia slowly. And yeah, this is gonna be a good win condition for Shoka, the, the SD Scissor, if he kept the set the same. So he gets Mantan burned, which is. Um, he might potentially try to burn Toxapex later with Mantan. That's why he went to it and to let it get burned, because in case Toxapex has Toxic, you don't have to risk getting Toxic anymore. He goes into Coco on the Roost. He's just gonna Volt Switch here on the Tangaroos. There's no reason to do anything else. Um, so he can either go into Kyurem or Landris here. He doesn't reveal yet which one of the Zemo uses. So if he Zemo, like if he goes Landris, Yashoka will definitely fear a potential Sky Strike and probably switch out into Zapdos. So like CL can. Um, because if he goes Kyurem, the Electric Terrain ends, right? That's why he's tempted to go into Landris first. And now he can U turn out. Go back to Coco, get Electric Terrain back. Because if he goes Kyurem and there's no Electric Terrain and the Toxapex probably eats it up better and uh, Scissor also eats it up better. Um, if it's not HP fire, um, like I said, if the scissors like really defensive, I don't know if I said that yet. But if the scissors really defensive and he has no HP fire, then um, scissor walls it, right? Walls the um, the Kyurem. So now he volts switches, and he goes in the Kyurem. I assume he's gonna spam Fusion Bolt now because Tangros cannot do anything back to the Kyurem if it's Z-move. Like, yeah, he got knocked off, but he, see, it has his Z-crest, he cannot get knocked off. So Tangros can't really touch the Kyurem and most likely has Roost's three attacks. Um, most of the time, Z um, they don't run HP Fire though on Z-move. They run like Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, and we do see that it's definitely a really defensive scissor. He can eat that up. So now he can Mega and Roost. So as long as this doesn't have HP Fire, scissor walls it. So what I'm trying to say here is. What I was trying to say is most of the time they don't run HP Fire, they run Ice Beam, Freeze Shock with Z-Move, Roost, and Fusion Bolt, right? Even though sometimes they don't run Roost, sometimes they run either Substitute or another coverage move instead of Roost. But he didn't go for HP Fire, he's spamming Fusion Bolt, so that makes me think he doesn't have HP Fire. Obviously Fusion Bolt, the reason why he spams it, because it does a lot to um, Heatran and Pex as well. But Yashoka's gonna Mega on Roost here, and if CL doesn't have HP Fire, he's gonna switch into Celeste Dealer here. Most likely Celestia, because if he goes into Vino, even if he has HP fire, he doesn't gain much, because Shoka can just switch into like Toxic Packs. He still didn't reveal if he doesn't have Earthquake. Mm, he probably went for Sludge Bomb with his Vino because he didn't want to, um, yeah, like he wants to make Shoka think that he doesn't have Earthquake and he wants to try to catch the Heatran later with the Earthquake or the Packs if the Packs gets weakened. But yeah, that didn't work out for CL. Not sure why he went for Fusion Ball again. It was pretty obvious that it didn't kill. Um, I guess he predicted Shoka to potentially pivot out there, fearing the HP Fire. Like, if Shoka feared the HP Fire and would have gone to Toxic Bex, and CL um, went for Fusion Ball again, it would have worked out really nicely for him. So I assume CL is either going to U-turn here. I'm surprised he went Landorus instead of Stella Steeler. He gets his rocks, okay. Um, but now, okay, okay. 
I thought that Choker would go into his Zapdos just to defog them away. But he goes into, he just goes for SD, so now he can go for knockoff. And if CL goes into uh, his Celesteel, he loses lefty, so it's just gonna be really nice. And he can just click uh flamethrower here or leech seed. Um I assume he's gonna click flamethrower because Scissor the threat like at a plus one already. And it has knockoff, it actually does like a good amount of damage to Celesteela. But yeah, he makes a nice play going for the sheet there. Um like it was pretty obvious that Shoka wasn't gonna stay in because he needs the scissor for the cure him. So I guess it was a fine play. And yeah, now he's gonna Volt Switch again here. Since he's uh, Leech Seeded, even if uh, Shoka can live a Volt Switch, there's no point in staying in and roosting. And yeah, Kyurem is back. <laughs> okay, Landris is back, not Kyurem. Okay, actually, what I'm trying to say here is he knows that Scizor now walls to Kyurem. Um, that's, that's probably why I didn't go to it, yeah. So he goes Landris to U-turn to weaken the Tangrus. Yeah, that was a fine play because you U-turn on Tangrus. Um, U-turn is always fine because your opponent cannot like double switch on U-turn. Like if the opponent switches on U-turn, you get momentum. If they stay in, you get chip damage. And like Venusaur tooks, takes nothing from Tangrus. So he finally goes on the Pex. I, sh I, I figured he would have done that the first time. Um, this Pex is not Black Sludge. It's Infestation. So I'm wondering if it's... It could that potentially be infestation toxic. Um, like I said earlier, he already got this Mentan burnt, which is helpful for if he is toxic, toxic packs. So infestation recover. Um, not sure about the other move. Scald and toxic maybe. Now usually uh, haste is really necessary on packs most of the time. But yeah, what am I trying to see here is if this pack is this uh, the haste packs we have seen that used by the other ones. Um, but it's probably just shed shell. To switch out of Heatran. Uh, it's either Shetchel or like we've also seen by Yappa Berry sometimes. So this is a free switch for CL back in the Venusaur. Uh, nice double, he got his region back. So if CL has Earthquake, he is gonna go for it. Um, if he doesn't have Earthquake, he's gonna switch to Mantan. He dodges a Magma Storm, he goes for Earthquake, and he gets a crit. That's really fucking annoying for Shoka. Because Earthquake wouldn't have killed. And Magma Storm plus Magma Storm secondary effect easily would have twit KO'd the Venusaur. Um, so that sucks for Shoka. He would have gotten rid of the Venusaur right there and he still would have had his Heatran. And now Shoka is gonna go in his Toxapex, I assume. He goes in his Mew, okay. So Fiel is gonna go in a Manta and he anticipating a Will O Wisp. He, he doesn't wanna let the Venusaur get burned. Uh, the chat is going wild. I think there's Blunder playing for um, for Grand Slam, right? So yeah, nice double by Shuka, anticipating the Manta to come out. Get some leftovers on his Zap, though. So he can discharge here and try to get a para. He heat waves, okay. Gets a burn, okay. So that's some revenge hex. Uh, so yeah, gonna go for synthesis here. And Shuka can either stay in to get more lefties or exactly go into packs. So now he's gonna click Infestation here, right? To get some chip damage and whatever comes out. Mantan is gonna be forced to click Roost here. But yeah, I have like um I had like a lot of, lot to do in the last days. I had like um I was lacking sleep, like I didn't sleep enough, so that's why I haven't been like uh, to upload the left today, it's my bad guys. <laughs> like I wanna bring you guys more, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to because I'm still really tired from the last days, they were like stressful. And <laughs> yeah, the burn is obviously really helpful. Venus is eventually gonna run out of sludge, um, out of synthesis because he gets chipped down from burn and Pex just walls Venus. So, like, I still don't know why he let his Mew get poisoned earlier, though. Like, yeah, he probably breaked it off quick or something like that, but still. So, now he's gonna try to burn the Pex. He just hazes, okay, um, because like. He doesn't want to click Scald because Scald would give the Mantan more health. He also doesn't want to click Recover because it wastes PP. Um, he doesn't want to waste Recover PP unnecessary. And Haze has a lot of PP, so like he can um, just go for that and not lose any PP on his other moves, which is a completely fine play. Yeah. The CL is gonna be forced to roost again here. I don't know if Pex beats this Mantan one on one though. 
because infestation is gonna end eventually and CL can then go into like Kiram or Coco and let's see Shoka then goes for Skull predicting that when the infestation ends he was freed from the infestation but he's okay he's still trying to get the burn okay so he was planning to get the burn before he switches out I see Oof, that was a f did, did he really predict the switch there? That was fire by CL. Toxic and toxic pack. So yeah, I assume he's gonna leech seed here. Since the Tangros is poisoned, the Tangros is forced out eventually. And Tangros cannot do much to Sela. Like knock off you see guys can see there's nothing. The toxic damage would rack up. So that was a fire play on CL, but it was completely free, but it was still a fire play. Um, nice but double back by Shoka and the Tangos, but he can still vo just Volt Switch into Venusaur, so like it's not like this really helps Shoka. You can also go sell Steela, yeah. Like Steela or Venusaur, both are fine. And he can look at Leech Sheet again here. Just to keep this somewhat healthy for the Scizor. So that's actually a threat with Manta and... Uh, like Manta has to rely on Scald Burn to, um, to beat Venusaur. And to beat <laughs> Scizor, not Venusaur. You guys can tell I'm really tired. <laughs> if I make any mistakes, that's because of, yeah, like, I'm just really tired. So yeah, he can lead shit again here. I can also see him like doubling, but like into what? CL doesn't really have that much to like offensively pressure Shoka's team. Like Shoka pretty much has answers for almost everything. If he didn't get hexed on the trend and the Vino would have been dead, he would have been in such a good position. He doubled in the tank expecting the Coco, I think. So there's the lead ship miss. That's definitely a bit helpful for Shoka, and he's also PP stall in these sheet because he has the pressure ability. And yeah, Venus is going to be forced to use a synthesis here. Uh, Shoka's going to go back to Pex, I assume. No, okay, he wants to. Yeah, he wants to um weaken the Vino a bit more, so he's going to have to go for synthesis more often, which is understandable. I see that, yeah. So Shoka gonna click infestation again. He goes hard Coco. Uh, he's just gonna volt switch out here. He can also potentially dazzling gleam, but I don't know if that I don't think that two chaos the Tangros, yeah. Tangros is still too healthy. So yeah, Volt Switch was obviously the play then. Yeah, it was still healthy because of region being a nice and busted ability. I mean you can go on a Kiram here, but it doesn't really do much because the scissor is still like so yeah, just going Lando, he gets toxic damage in this, and then you turning out is fine. It's the correct play. Like, you know, like he he's never going to get rocks up because of Zapdos. And Mew, the double D4 combination. Um, so Shoka can either go back to Tangos, or if he predicts a Volt Switch, he can Roost as well, because I don't think Volt Switch would kill the Zapdos. Yeah, if he didn't have that Zapdos, that would um, wall the Curum, then the Curum would just go in and get killed every time it comes in. Maybe um, someone should try to build with um, HP Fire Zim of Kirum so that um, because in f uh, terrain fusion bolt destroys everything, and if you have also HP Fire, you can destroy Scissor as well. And other than that, I don't really see much switching into that set. The only other thing that walls that set would be Gastron, but if you have your Z move, you can if you use your Z move on the correct turn, then you're in really good position if you can get it off on the Gastron. Like you could play really aggressive with a Kyurem set like that, you could always just Ice Beam and Fusion Bolt because they would scout for your Z-move with Gastrodon because they know that Z-move kills the Gastrodon so they have to waste it first. So they basically just see how just U-turning and Volt switching around. Shoka is able to keep his team somewhat healthy because of Tangro's region and Zapdos doesn't really care about U-turn and also has leftovers. But yeah, Shoka's uh, main way I guess of winning is SD Scizor like, can definitely potentially do it if you can weaken the Celesteela. And yeah, also have to be careful, like watch out that he doesn't get burned by Mantan. So yeah, the reason why CL is doubling out there because if he keeps going for a lead sheet, his lead sheet PP are gonna run out eventually. Completely understand his play there. But yeah, he's always Volt Switching, so Shoka can break that and eventually he's gonna go for Roost. But yeah, Heatran was definitely annoying for CL. Um, if it had Magma Storm taunt, then it could uh, Magma Storm incoming Mantan, then taunt it, preventing it from roosting. 
Um, to be fair, um, to be fair, Heedron would have been super low. So if if um, CL predicts the taunt and goes for Scald, Heedron would have died because it still would have taken like 80-ish, I think, from Earthquake. But the crit definitely mattered on the turn earlier, and the Magma Storm miss obviously also sucked because he, um, Venusaur would have been lower. So he volts. He's gonna go into Kyurem here, I assume, as uh, Shoka I assume Ruth did. Um, I guess he can try to freeze the scissor, but yeah, Shoka can just go to scissor here. If he bluffed HP fire the entire time, there would be a fire play on CL's part, but I don't think he has it. Shoka can also go on a toxic pack here because there was no terrain up. Just in case, like if he wants to like be extra safe with CL and see if CL has HP fire. But it's pretty obvious if CL had HP fire, he would have clicked it earlier, yeah. Um, so Shoka is gonna go back to Tangros. He doesn't want to let the scissor take a huge hit. CL is gonna Volt Switch out. Could see him T bolting as well, but Volt Switch is just safer. Um, don't lose much from it, buy it. And um, Volt Switch also has a lot of PP, so like, I think it has like 30 PP, right? 32. But yeah, Malton wasn't sure who wins the game yet. He went for T bolt. It actually did a lot. It almost took killed with poison. Uh, CL is gonna go back to South Steeler or Venusaur here. Yeah, it goes Kyurem. Did I say, did I say Vino or Steeler? Kyurem is obviously also a fine option. Um, now Tangrus has to switch out, he has to get Regenerator. Um, so if I'm Shoka here, I would probably switch out and then I would double back into Tangrus to get more Regenerator. Because you need to get this back healthy to check the Coco. Otherwise, yeah. This, this is exact. Oh, he sacked it. Wow. Wow. Did he predict him to double? Yeah, because now um, he lost his Coco check. And Svex Coco, I think, now kind of destroys Shoka. So he SDs up. Ciel is now forced to go for Flamethrower. Early he went for Lichi once on the Scissor when it was a plus one, but now it's at plus two. And like. He has, does not have lefties on Steel anymore. He doesn't want to play around. I think he's forced to flamethrower for sure. So that will also, this also gives him the option to for sure burn on the Zapdos. But yeah, I don't know how Shoka is gonna beat um, the Coco now. With his Tangros being like dead. <laughs> yeah, there's HP5 Vino as well. Um, we didn't. What it's crazy. He's HP5 Earthquake Synthesis. And Sludge Bomb. That, that's actually a really cool set. We have seen that on another day as the other day as well. So Shoka um, predicted CL to go for Synthesis there, I think. Went for Roost. Or to switch into Celestila. Not sure. But yeah, I would just flame through again here. Um, actually, not 100% sure why he didn't just spam HP Fire with his, with his Venusaur. Because it was doing more than the scissor could heal, even though his Venusaur was burned and getting worn down. Actually, I forgot if his Venusaur was too worn down because it didn't heal, then it made sense. So yeah, now he can just click T-Bolt and collect his kill. He's gonna twit KO something with Specs T-Bolt here. And the game is pretty much over in CL's favor. If he gets a Heatwave burn there, maybe that would be nice. Doesn't get it, and yeah, T-Bolt kills the Zapdos. I like the terrain is still up, so like if no terrain is up, then Mew as a uh, scissor can potentially wall it, but with terrain up, they can't, and yeah, just forfeits. And I'll be back later with game two. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, moderation was off a bit. I haven't narrated two games in a while. Yeah, stay tuned for game two, Bob. I don't know why I always have to mess up my outro. <laughs> Good boy.